Good morning, welcome to another video. This journey for me has just been transformative to say the least. And the whole process of discovering um, who you are or getting rid of the things that you don't need in your life anymore, of evolving and growing into the life that you really want to live. You know, all this can often be really, really fucking messy, you know, confusing. You know, it's not a straight line always, you know. Sometimes you're going to find bumps in the road. You're going to find brick walls that you smack into. Uh, pitfalls of all different shapes and sizes that you want to avoid, right? But it's also a journey which is, has been for me incredibly powerful and incredibly rewarding. You know, the first step in this life is always, you know, to, to head out from this journey and to... Um, to start working towards that life that you want to live is to stop the flow of this poison, you know? We can't even set out on the journey without doing that. We can't even take a f our first step, you know? The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and that first step is always to stop that flow, you know? The big mistake that people make in this journey is they think, well, if I cut down the flow, maybe that's gonna help me to go forward and it won't because it's just a cyclical thing you get you're not only getting dragged into the cycle of it you're getting dragged into the thinking of it you know the the mindsets that accompany that you know the mindsets that not only accompany the the drinking and the poisoning but the mindsets that accompany the um unwillingness to take the leap right and what that does to you what that does to your journey for what it does to your self-confidence and all that kind of stuff but what it does to your mindset it's like having a straight jacket on you so um it often appears that this is often you know like the the hardest first step that's what it appears to be but you know i think there's some truth in it right it's what holds your habit together this drinking so once the alcohol is gone then the habit itself will slowly diminish that's for sure and it's the thing that you have to deal with right now in the moment right if, if that's where you are if you're drinking and you want to get somewhere else that is the thing that you have to deal with there's no skipping past it and like i said that's the first step there's no going from no steps to step 10 you have to go through the steps forwards onwards right there's no going around it but it's not just about stopping the flow. As I said, it, you know, that's just the starting point. The main focus should always be in finding new meaning in the life that you're going to lead. Looking for a purpose that you find really valuable and looking for a solid direction in life. And those, that meaning and that value will give you that solid direction. You know, everyone goes through the um, the struggle to understand themselves in one form or another. Uh, everyone finds difficulty in giving their lives over to a purpose. Because, you know, the, people think, well, if I, if I do this, then I can't do that. And that's right. You've got to discriminate in this world. You've got to um, put some things in front of you and leave other things behind you in order to do anything. Otherwise, you'll do nothing. You know, there's, there's always more questions in this life than there are answers. And everyone, regardless of the background, regardless of their circumstances, grapples with these questions to some extent, right? You know, some of the questions in the world, you know, like I said, the, the older I get, the more I understand, the more knowledge I get, the more I understand how much I don't know, you know? How many questions there are out there that just have got no answers to them, you know? And that's okay, you know? You know, sometimes I feel like I'm constantly searching for meaning, but that's okay as well. You know, I found enough meaning and enough purpose in my life to help me move on to the, to the next level and to help me to think a bit deeper about myself and my life. I'm in a very good place, mentally speaking. A much better place to be able to deal with some of the broader existential questions in my life right you know much better than i ever was when i was drinking you know there, that was no place you know, it was no good place to be in you know if you're starting out in this journey um, i want you to see that alcohol 
is not the enemy. It's just a chemical, a liquid in a bottle that will do you no harm until it gets into your body. And it will never get into your body unless you pick it up and put it there, right? So who's the real enemy? And I'm not suggesting that you have to look at yourself as the enemy, right? Um, but if you, if you don't know who the enemy is or what the enemy is, then how are you going to fight it, right? The enemy here is the habit. It's the behavior. You know, it's, it's when you look at something like that, as the habit, as the behavior, that is the enemy, then it's something that you can alter, it's something that you can change, and it's as simple as that. You know, the habit uses alcohol, or alcohol is part of the habit. It's the, the thing that gives the habit its fuel, if you like. It's the means to the end. But if the alcohol is not there, then another means will be found Another means will be required to get to that same end. Because if you're looking for the same end through the same channel, then you're going to have to find another tool if you take the alcohol out of it. So it's why so many people who are unplugging themselves for alcohol start looking around for another drug to plug themselves back into. You know, I hear weed all the time, you know. And people justify that by saying, well, it's, it's not as bad as alcohol. It depends what your, what your perspective is and what way you're looking at it. Your victory is never found in battling the enemy on its own terms, right? But in, you know, in this case, refusing to engage on its own terms, right? In a sense, this is about kind of reclaiming your own power, making your own conscious choices, taking control of your life, and you take control by breaking the habit. You know, if you swap drugs, then you're not breaking the habit. We can't always control the external circumstances of our lives, but we always have the power to shape how we respond, you know, what decisions we're going to make. And ultimately, our decisions are going to lead to the destinations that we're going to arrive at, you know. You know, when you look back, and hindsight is a great thing, when you look back and you can see 2020, well, I'm here because I made that choice and that choice and that choice. You know, sometimes it's not as clear, but, you know, I always knew that alcohol was the reason why I was in so much shit in my life and I proved that by stopping it. And once I stopped it, hey presto. <laughs> but um, you know, the path that you need to take might not always be very clear to you. And it's okay to feel lost at times, but it's in these moments of searching, of grappling with some of the biggest questions in your life that you're gonna find the most profound truths about yourself and about your own life you know it takes a bit of courage and a commitment to step over that line uh, and the journey is about self-discovery as much as anything else you know keeping moving forwards keeping asking questions and trusting that the answers are going to come to you in time if you want to support what we do here on youtube i'd appreciate if you consider supporting us on patreon the link is in the description below and uh, thank you very much for everybody who's already supported us over there on that platform your support is very much appreciated take care of yourself thank you onwards and upwards bye now